this angle is i so this angle is also i so tan of angle i and x by d a x by d a is this angle so x by dr is tan i so what is x by d a you see that in this small triangle i'll magnify this this angle is the refracted angle so this ang angle is also the refracted angle that means this angle is also r this is x this is dr so x by so this is sorry this is da so x by da is tan r this i can write it as sin i and this i can write it as sin of r so if I divide this, I'll get, what do I get? DA by DR. So DA by DR is sin I by sin R. What is this? If I apply the Snell's law, I'll get mu sin of I is equal to 1 sin R or sin I by sin R as 1 by mu. This is equal to 1 by mu. So I get apparent depth is equal to real depth by mu. And now what is mu? Mu is the refractive index of the medium in which the object lies. As in this case, object lies in this medium. So, mu is the refractive index of this medium with respect to this medium. Now, let's say that what does this formula imply? It implies that when the object is placed in the denser medium and I am in the rearer medium, the object appears to shift towards the surface. Because in that case, since this is a denser medium, this is a rarer medium, mu is a quantity larger than 1. So, this is a factor which is larger than 1. So, real depth by a factor larger than 1 is a, makes the real depth, this, this whole thing less. That means the object shifts towards the surface when the object is in the denser medium. Now, what happens when the object is in the rarer medium? Let's say, this is my denser medium, I am here, this is my eye and the object is here. What happens now? Let's say this refractive, this medium has a refractive index mu and this is the medium air which is, has a refractive index of 1. In this case, I will use the same formula, apparent depth is equal to real depth by, now what is mu? Mu, as I said, is the refractive index of the medium in which the object lies with respect to the medium in which my eye is. So, I will write mu object by mu where my eye is. So, this becomes mu object is 1. So, it becomes real depth by 1 divided by mu or it is mu times real depth. So, that means when the object is in the rare medium, the object appears to shift away from the surface. So, this is where my object appears to be when the object is in the rarer medium. So, let me recall what I had just discussed. When the object is in the denser medium, the object appears to move towards the surface. When the object is in the rarer medium, it appears to move away from the surface. And the formula which gives the relation between real depth and apparent depth is apparent depth is equal to real depth by mu, where mu is the refractive index of the medium in which the object lies with respect to the refractive index of the medium in which my eye is. Now, let us say let us say that I have a glass slab. I introduce a glass slab in a medium. The thickness of the glass slab is d2 object is here so the question is what is the shift and my eye is here this distance is d3 this distance is d1 
the question is what is the shift observed by the eye of the object obviously there are two refracting surfaces so because of the two refractive surfaces as we had discussed there will be a shift occurring so the question is find the shift or let's find the shift remember that this is the first refracting surface so the light is moving from rarer to denser medium my object is in the rarer medium so if i say that this point is a this is oa the intermediate image will be formed where as i said if the object is in the rarer medium and i am in the denser medium as i'm here now the object appears to move away from the surface so my intermediate image by this refracting surface will be formed somewhere here and what will be ai dash will be oa divided by mu of the medium in which the object lies is 1 divided by mu of the object or where my eye is so it is mu so it is mu times oa let's say oa is x let's say oa is equal to x now this image appears to be the object for this surface so my ai dash is let's say this is b so for this surface the distance is bi dash which is equal to mu x plus d2 x is equal to d1 as it's already given in the question so let's let's write d1 only so this is like this now when the ray of light moves from this medium to this medium it's moving from denser to rarer medium so now what will happen this object will shift towards the surface so my final image will appear here because of this medium now what is the shift my bi will be mu d1 plus d2 is the real depth divided by mu or it will be equal to d1 plus d2 by mu now what is the shift the shift is oi or the distance between object and image this i can write as b o minus b i what is b o b o is d1 plus d2 and what is b i d1 plus d2 by mu this gets cancelled and i get the shift as d2 1 by 1 minus 1 by mu the point to note here is that the direction of the shift is this is a positive quantity so the direction of the shift is in the direction in which the ray of light moves the ray of light is moving in this direction so my direction of shift is also in this direction another thing to note here is that the shift is independent of the location of the glass slab because you see that the shift doesn't have terms like d1 and d3 and so that means that the shift is independent of the location of the glass slab so if i place the glass slab anywhere the, the shift will be same given by d2 1 minus 1 by mu or i can write the shift as thickness of the glass slab t 1 minus 1 by mu now let's take few examples before we proceed into refract, uh, refraction in spherical surfaces. 